Templar assassin. Choose your hero. Like full time jungle enigma. It's been a long time since Dean one of those puppy. He out of position here. Crit's gonna hold on to his vision block until throwing it down now. Now the lit puppy get in front of him, but with the slow out from the drone ranger, they may still be able to get this, especially with the splinter blast. Now Zai actually came in. Icarus dives through the two supports. He's gonna go for the kill onto the winter wyvern. Now he still has stick charges, and with the splinter blast, Zai's gotta be careful. Slowed down once again by the frost arrows coming out from RTZ. Up here by yourself. Another oh. Gus push back. He does have Fly who's gonna try and help protect him with the Splinter Blast as well as the Arctic Bird slowing down these heroes. Now the fish slot comes in. Zai's trapped on the wrong side of it, but Arteezy's still gonna get burnt out. The Splinter Blast almost enough to finish off Zai. Big and Chan totem hit. Still not enough. Now the as the Fisher fails. Zai does manage to get back a little bit, but not far enough. Meanwhile, mid lane CCNC bursted down once again by the rotation coming out from Puppy. Zai taking top. Round on Puppy's gonna be able to slow him down with the Ignite. They also have that flux slowing him down. Fly can't really do anything to help him, so that's why he's immediately gonna TP out. They have no stuns with a fire blast. It looks like he's just gonna go for the Midas. Oh, Another Ignite light. as well as a rupture. Evil Genius is gonna try and rotate some heroes over here, but the big silence comes out. Now the fish are down. They're trying to lay damage into mid one, but the TP out from S4 just took too long, so instead he's gonna try and go for the kill on a puppy. But that big tanky ogre just refuses to die, and now S4, he is in big trouble. Pops a moonlight shadow, but they had the damage to be able to bring him below that thirst radius. And now Fly, trying to get away from the silent. Will Smoke is heading up to the top lane for Evil Geniuses. They're gonna be able to get the Fisher into the Star Storm. A lot of damage, they couldn't get an arrow out, but it looks like Nisha may still be in trouble. He managed to get the Venn Diagram of Bubbles, which is dodging a lot of damage. Now the Supernova goes down, the arrow's gonna miss. Nisha dodges that one as well. Now they're stunned up, the Valve is. Nisha's gonna be able to get away. The Supernova explodes, they both die. The bad sign, the Blade Mail picked up for the Bloodseeker. Super effective in this game against many of the heroes of EG as we're gonna see Fly get caught out. Again, those aggressive wards giving them the tip that they can go for this kind of pickoff. Zai is gonna dive on through, get that magic damage on a fly. And hold the brace just will never be effective against this Bloodseeker. Now Zai does take a lot of damage on his way out, but he always has that supernova to fall back on. And he's just gonna pop it here. He's a little bit afraid that he's gonna get caught. Now CCNC is gonna try and run it down with the help of crit. They will be able to kill this Nova and Happy illusion. This is huge. He might oh, get a kill if he can Nisha. actually get this kill, he needs to be able to get inside the bubble. Land this arrow as well. Nisha's gonna try and juke his way around the trees. S4 doesn't even bother. He gives him the walk away kill. That is over a thousand gold given to S4 off of a critical pickup. Now gonna find another one. But with a Fisher coming in and CCNC joining them. This could be the big fight. Level two egg on Phoenix is prepared. You have Light the blink shadow. on the app store along with the Crimson Guard. If they the right winners curse from fly, they need to be able to get vision. Oh, look at that. The preemptive supernova. But it may explode before Roshan actually dies here. It's gonna be a little close. They just don't have the damage. It's still another thousand HP. Now the arrow comes in. Oh, there's gonna be a black hole on the right hand side. Looks like they should be able to blow up the drone ranger first and pick up that Aegis. Now S4 caught by the ruptures. They are gonna turn and go slam out. Blade Mail does a lot of damage back to both S4 as well as Crit. It kills S4. Crit's gotta make his way out. Fly tried to come in for the Winter's Curse, but they all to catch EG, but as they're not finding heroes, they're letting Mid One and Thai know, guys, there's nobody here, but they found him. They found Mid One sitting in the jungle. They tried their best to play the game of hide and seek, just playing the side jungles as best as possible. They're gonna kill the Tempest double as well here. This is, it's getting a little scary for Secret. Yeah, they're massive. Oh, what? Whoa. He kills Arteezy. Secret, on the other hand, if Arcor never has to turn and flee, like that net worth becomes worthless. Absolutely. Rod of Atos catch here on TC. The way is the Rod bails out. They're gonna try and jump onto the Phoenix here, but protected by that magnetic field. Crit tries to get in there, managed to get the Echo Slam, but the Black Hole is protecting the Phoenix for now, managed to get off the Supernova. And there goes the team fight, it's over. EG, they have to full retreat now. Fly's gonna turn around, gets off the Winter's Curse, but that's... Winter's Curse, arrow. Pop the BKB here, trying to blow up Nisha as quick as possible. They are going to be able to do so, but Splinter Blast doing a lot of damage to Yapsor as well. S4 goes in the high ground, Cold Brace as well. Mid one commits for a kill that he can't actually get. Yapsor is going to help him though with RTZ. Mid one will be able to take that one as well as S4 just flying around the map with that thirst. Slowly is now. I thought they were going to wrap all the way around, but it's dead. They're trying to cut through this 
very narrow area around the Roshan pit that's tough to be able to get into. Escort just dives through the pit. He has no information, so he tries to go in right as Roshan's about to go down, but it's not even close. So Secret are just going to be able to come in for the team fight. Now, the Supernova is traded out for Escort's life, but Fly is also going to be caught here. Buy back instantly. Cole the Brace as he comes back at the silence mid one. Quickly taken life. There goes the Black Hole as they try to get into the pit. A beautiful one by Yabsor. CC and team is already so low. Now he tries to run away, but the Thirst charges just build up for the Blood Seeker. He's going to help run everybody down. Back to Roshan they go. That is an, almost a team life. And now an Aegis Chief. There's Curse. And managed to blink out and hits the Arc Warden next to the Blood Seeker. It's going to do a lot of damage. The arrow coming in as well. BKB activated. They're fully committing towards his Arc Warden kill. A four snap away. Almost oh. the cheese activated just in time. Nisha stays alive and S4's life is forfeit. So is RTZ. Caught by the Rod of Age Host. Midwad, Sonic the Hedgehog. Here we go. Just running down heroes. Evil geniuses will call it quits for this first game. Tag, not much to say. Well played by Seek. EG drafting uh, a lineup that kind of says, hey, we think we're better than you. They're going to be so far behind them. I don't know if they can recover. The roll in on crit. They're going to try and deal with this tiny who's already at half health, but they actually turn around and just kill Yaptor almost instantly. Now Nisha's going to try and go for the crit kill as well, but he's in trouble. Dove in last couple of shots. The healing salve will protect him for now, but it's all not going to be worth if he can't actually get away. Good juke. Arteezy fell for it. Still going to be nuked up though, and they got the last word out as well. That's intelligence lost. Two heroes down. Even Puppy takes a lot of damage on his way out. Evil genius is off to a roaring start here in game two. Three heroes level two versus three heroes level one. I'm... That's all there really is to say about that engagement. That's it all the, comes down to that first wave, all right? All the first wave. CC and C. Well, there's an opening for you. Fairy Fire going to be activated here. CC and C needs one more swing, but yeah, I'm sure it's not fast enough. He does have a roll. Okay, he stops the healing stop. At least he does that, but he's going to die. Underneath that tower. Meanwhile, Nisha, he's left alone with none of the supports. Crit saw those two supports rotate away, so they're going to challenge Nisha almost immediately. That was really well. Arteezy was setting up for a toss back, and instead he spawns the illusion to ensure it can't happen. Arteezy's trying to solo kill him right now, and he does have the movement speed. That's why Puppy needed to go for that body block. A tree toss, that'll be enough to finish off Nisha. Awesome. Crit, now the toss back into flight with the last word on him as well. Puppy, he's gonna die as well. Ran like he was going to the jungle, and then pops the ghost walk to run back into Arteezy, but the two supports, they're wrapping around behind to help out Arteezy. They're gonna be able to get the avalanche toss up in the air. The last word is out as well. Arteezy's almost definitely managed to dodge the tornado. Turns around, hits the nuke. Zai's gonna try and chase him down, but there's no opportunity. He does not have the movement speed. Arteezy just chills out on the high ground and collects his hero bounty. Now the top lane, S4, continuing to keep up the pressure. Every single time his support shows up, he puts the bugs on them, looks for the kill, pops his ultimate, and catches Puppy. Now he can just get away from the Terror Blade scot-free. So while Secret is setting at a bottom, he is getting a free tower, but Evil Genius are going to try and fight this one. That's where mid one pops out. Managed to get the EMP out of flying. He's the first one down. They're also still trying to chase out here. The Supernova goes down. Crit is going to be caught by the Earth Spirit Ultimate as well, so he's going to take the damage over time. That will finish him off. The two supports die. Just picked up a Yasha in about two and a half minutes of the the jungle. Feels no pressure whatsoever. Mid lane. Well, the silence goes down. They're trying to actually finish up this Invoker. They've already got the bucks on him. Lakota play will manage to take him down before CCNC falls. Puppy kick out onto RTZ, stopping him from getting the nuke that would have stopped the TP. So instead, he hits that Lucent Beam onto Yapsor. Oh, they're ready to rock and roll, and they have great vision. They know that Secret's Midwan's down gonna here. run into him. Cold Snap already leading out. The Avalanche is gonna be dodged there by the Gold Scepter. What a great silence in from Yapsor as well. CC and Z pushed away, swap back in. He's dead. Toss up in the air onto the Invoker, but you can see the rest of Evil Geniuses, they have forfeited this fight. They're gonna retreat to the right while it's gonna be our tiny why it's critical for this smoke to work out. They smoke pop on Anisha. That's a beautiful kill. They can actually get it. The global silence goes down. Turns around Sunder, but he's still taking so much magic damage. The Yule Scepter tossing the air into the LSA. They should be able to finish off the Terran Plate. Now the swap back. There goes the Supernova as well. Nisha turning and fighting, almost killing s Finally, the Terran Plate dies, as does the Supernova. But it is still secret fighting. But it's also the first place that Support's gonna run up to. They had Vision, already able to get the swap back down onto the Tiny, the toss over. Vengeful Spirit's almost dead, but the silence on S4 is gonna prevent him from pursuing. So it's gonna be Crit who dies here with the Tornado, while the other two are chased away by Evil Genius's Sunray. Doing a lot of damage on the fly right now. CC and C, oh, the Sun Strike on point, but... So not only, so the first fight, they lose their BK window, right? Now, Puppy gets that ward. That's oh, not gonna give them another free kill. 
They're gonna be able to jump onto the Phoenix, but it's a Phoenix without Supernova, so it's really not a big kill that Crit got there, trading two supports for one. Since I'm not Radiant's certain he'll tower. be able to deploy, get them. Well, he baits himself, that's pretty smart, but the Tornado intercepts a lot. They managed to get the Eclipse out, the swap down from Puppy, so they do manage to save mid one's life, but the fight is still going the way of Evil Geniuses. They're going to be able to finish off that Vengeful Spirit. The Absorb goes down as well. Puppy actually rounds the corner and gets away from RTZ. If they can take this Tier 1, all of a sudden it becomes much easier for them to threaten the Rashad. Again, I don't think Seek's feeling any pressure right now. Will Scepter catching the Phoenix. Going to be able to hit that LSA. They throw everything they have, quickly blowing them up. Global Silence as well, making sure there's no Tornado to be able to intercept the damage. And they're going to be able to catch one more. That's going to be the Phoenix as well. Conventional Spirit already dead. Instant buyback out from our Phoenix. Still has the Supernova, so Evil Geniuses do retreat. Double Secret. Initiation here, Brent. On, on the front lines, they're going to go for him. Swap back. That leaves S4 an opportunity. Oh, no, he's actually hit by the Magic Missile. Didn't get the BKB up in time. Now pops the time lapse. A new kin from Luna. He pops that double damage and is ready to fight. He wants to be able to go in. That's why S4 is barreling in, trying to go for the backline supports. But now the metamorphosis and a tornado hits fly. They look to be able to kill S4. They managed to get the silence on him as well. A beautiful timing from Yabzor that kills another core from Evil Geniuses. By the time they're taking these tier twos, that little bit of build. Oh, swap. Swap back. They manage to catch a big one. CC and C activate his BKB, but he missed the LSA on the mid one. They throw the damage on him anyway. Do manage to get the kill. Puppy gets last worded up, so he's going to die as well. Chased away by CC and C. You can see S4 is looking for more, trying to hunt the Earth Spirit. It's gone. Second tier three. Now they do have a tier two of bottom lane. People geniuses. Maybe for video. Oh, Chris actually gonna go in for the avalanche. They're gonna try and blow him up. They actually bounce back the Laguna Blade, but it doesn't matter. They manage to bring down the Terror Blade, move forward with this Eclipse. They are gonna be able to take Yapsor as well. That's gonna be two supports down the turnaround. They're actually gonna fight this one. They managed to get a big magic damage burst onto Luna. Mid one looks for more as CC and C's just gonna wail into the supports. Mid one is actually gonna abandon his two supports, saying. This is fine for EG. S4 is taking top wave. He's got that move speed Scoochie talent, so we can reconnect. Very quickly. CCT gets caught once again by the Blink. Boulder in. He pops a BKB, but it may be too late. He gets the Yule Scepter off to himself. Cataclysm set up. up. He's dead. A lot of damage already laid into Nisha, but he managed to get the Sunder onto Arteezy with the reflection as well. Arteezy, they've got to bail him out somehow. Crit is going to try and protect him as best as possible. The turnaround around Eclipse, they're going to lay the damage into Nisha. Nisha pops another reflection. Arteezy tries to fight him, but no. He's dead now. Another toss up. They're going to be able to catch Crit. Buys back. Rolling in for Evil Genius. Heroes on the hill, but he has no ability to see the opposing mid hill. And all of a sudden, there's an earth grid on top of him, and the TV just does so much damage. Oh, Yapsor. Choose not to. Yapsor is going to try and roll back in. Kick out. Going to be dodged. He'll step through up. LSA is going to land onto him. Artis is going to sink his Manta illusions on Yapsor. He was looking to be able to get up into the hill, but S4 is going to block him, making sure he can't roll out. That's why the swap comes in. Uh, Puppy going to give up his life. Nisha fighting on the high ground. Actually, already killed him. CC and C is dead from a high ground advantage out from Nisha. Now the dive in. Zai looking to be able to force this fight, knowing that the Lina is dead. She is looking to be able to slow down some heroes, but just doesn't quite make it. They caught him. Mid one. He's almost dead. He managed to get the BKB. Trying to run away from physical damage is too much. Swap back from Puppy's going to be ineffective. The apps are trying to roll in. They've already got the swarm on so many heroes in S4. He's not dying just yet. Nish is struggling to be able to lay damage into RTZ. Hoping to be able to slow down these heroes. But evil geniuses are all just getting out except for CCNC. Who once again gets caught in the old scepter. Is going to be slowed down by the Scotty. Will not escape. Another. All the marbles. They want to get a little bit of high ground vision. Just so Nisha doesn't get blown up. He, they have to try and 100 to the to get the avalanche. BKB goes down from Nisha. Turns around, gets off the reflection with the sight of ice, but the four staffs are going to be able to protect him. They need to be able to protect Nisha as best as possible. He's down to half HP, oh. and he gets blown up. Bone goes to Dynamite, Terror Blade's dead. They're scrambling for the, the uh, Divine Reaper as best they can. CC and C going to be hit by the Supernova as he comes down with the Gold Scepter, and he is dead as well. As for trying to lay some damage in another beautiful avalanche, locking down the two supports of Team Secret while Yapster tries to roll through. Actually hits on S4, managed to get the silence. Puppy hiding away, managed to pop out. Hello, Fly. It's a magic missile stun, and S4. He dies as well. He was all already. He was balling into every single team fight. Fearless. Now the initiation comes in. BKB gonna be activated. They're gonna try and take out Arteezy as quick as possible. The cataclysm takes him, but he does have the buyback. Nisha, he's gonna be coming the LSA. He has no BKB. He's taken out the divine rapier off the deck of evil geniuses. They look to be able to grab no heroes. Luna with the divine rapier. Yaptor will 
Falls in, Wild and Meteor with the BKB, and the Eclipse activated. They're looking to be able to chase out these heroes. Yapster tries to roll in, hits S4. Beautiful tornado out from mid one. Look to be able to retreat. Arteezy oh starting God. to get fighting. He's already dead. Special Spirit gone. Yapster are dead as well. Arteezy slowed down by the Ice Wall. Will not be able to catch the extra heroes. This is it. Gonna try and get that big objective. Get the extra life for himself. Oh, he finds but, Puppy's Oh, here. Puppy, Puppy, don't tell me he's gonna steal this. He pops the BKB, trying to get away. Mid one's oh gonna join him with a double damage to Alacrity. He does so much damage, but he doesn't have the BKB, but a missed Avalanche. Now the oh. Tornado, looking to try and finish off Roche on himself. Cataclysm goes up. They swap the out of the pit. He just is picked up by Mid one. They intercept the extra life for Arteezy. Mid one, he may die twice here. That's why they pop the Supernova. Oh. Rainy Blast, that is a big one. Daphne Blast trying to push him outside the pit. That quick enough. Cataclysm is oh. the egg's done. And it's over. Evil Genius is getting walked oh. inside the pit. They needed the most and E.T. are out of the episode one Hamburg. God damn, you called the cap. 4.25 seconds from mid one. What a play from Puppy.